It was a beautiful morning in Nithsdale on Friday the 19th of April, and my car was back in action. So I headed off to Elven Foot on the northern approach to Betock Summit, high in the Scottish uplands, where the Infant River Clyde meets the West Coast Main Line, to film Great Britain 16 passing at speed behind two black fives. However, at more than 1,000 feet above sea level, the wind was too strong to safely fly the drone, rain was in the air, and the ground level sight lines were disappointing. So I packed my equipment, headed back to the car, and drove to Lockerbie, where the train was scheduled to stop for watering. The uploop at Lockerbie is frequently used for watering southbound steam locomotives. Behind us is the town's Tesco Superstore, and immediately north of that is the station. Avanti West Coast trains routinely run through the station at speeds in excess of 100 miles per hour, while TransPennine Express provides services to both Glasgow and Edinburgh. Curiously, the station is managed by ScotRail, who don't operate on this route between Gretna Junction and Carstairs, a gap of about 63 miles. The railway touring company's Great Britain 16 is on day seven of a nine-day tour, starting at London's Victoria Station and ranging from Margate in Kent to Kyle of Lochalsh and Aberdeen. Today's journey will finish at Liverpool. The two Black Fives, having watered, will haul the train on to Carlisle, where they will be replaced by Oliver Bullied's Battle of Britain Light Pacific class 34067 Tango.
With two locomotives to be watered, I suspect that the passengers are in for a long wait. However, with 25 miles to drive to Carlisle, and then an affordable car park to find and equipment to set up at the Citadel in time for the Great Britain to arrive, I'd better not hang about. One of the drivers told me that he expected to leave the Lockerbie Loop at about one o'clock. Suffice it to say that by the time my gear was set up on the platform of Carlisle, the GB16 was still sitting in the loop at Lockerbie. Two locomotives and two support coaches to be uncoupled from the rest of the train. There's the man who gave me the misinformation. <laughs> so they, they were taking support coaches and no doubt. Two, two support coaches. Two support coaches. They're, they're uncoupling them on yeah. them. Same age as me. It's always the one that I'm not filming, it's <laughs> Yeah. The red light, so he ain't going very far. Ten minutes should be easy left. I don't know what to do when they try to help me. Thank you.
The two black fives set off for Carnforth. To be replaced by Tangmir.
As Tangmuir heads off to Liverpool, leaving a classic trail of smoke behind her, for once having the car with me, I don't have to worry about trains home. Is this a change of driver? No, I think it's just an enthusiast coming to have a chat. Scotrail's 1608 service to Glasgow Central via the old southwestern route, Dumfries and Kilmarnock calling at all stations, departs on time. This is always a busy train, especially on Saturdays, and yet never has more than two coaches. And finally, as my car park ticket expires, a last look at what has been sitting in the sidings all day before I head for home. Thanks for watching. All being well, I'll be back again tomorrow for another Steam special. So, here's to then.